All right, welcome back. We have an upper body strength workout today and it's gonna be so good. So for today's workout, we do need a mat because we're gonna do some things on the floor in different positions and we're also gonna do something standing. We are also using weights. So go ahead and grab your free weights, grab a few different um, sizes, if you will, a heavier and a lighter so that you can kind of challenge yourself and see what you need. And without further ado, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today. Thank you for the ability to strengthen our arms. Thank you for the ability to heal our body. We welcome your presence throughout the workout. We pray to uh, we pray that you keep me safe, and we pray that you keep those doing the workout and watching safe as well. And we pray to have fun as we strengthen and lean into you any times that we feel weak, and we just uh, welcome your wisdom and revelation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, let's begin. Okay, so we're gonna warm up the rotator cuff. You're gonna push your palms out, uh, fingertips up. So you're gonna feel a gentle stretch in the palm of your hand, your lower arm, your forearm, your upper arm. And now we're gonna small circle backwards, okay? Nice and slow and controlled. You don't wanna be moving the entire body. We're just keeping the oscillations and the movement in the shoulder. And if you can, try to keep those fingertips up to kind of wake up the hands. Wake up the forearms. Now we're gonna reverse. Palms still open, but fingertips down. And we're gonna go forward right here. Again, just warming up the shoulder girdle in an open chain position. Warming up the rotator cuff. Small circles in the shoulder girdle. And relax. Today we're gonna to warm up the muscles a little bit more with some light weight. I'm gonna grab my three pounders here and we're just gonna go over some of the exercises we're doing. So right now we have a front raise, it's a long lever. My elbows are slightly bent, my palm is down. And it's okay to kick your leg back. That's three, we're gonna do eight, four, five. I'm not leaning, six, seven, eight. My elbows are slightly bent now. I'm gonna come out to the side and lower. Side raise, two, so this is a side raise with a shorter lever. We're also gonna do a longer lever, okay? So you can feel the difference. I'm gonna turn and face you. We're just gonna do a couple elbows slightly bent, out to the side, slowly down. Out to the side, so you can feel the difference. Take your time with this one. It's a longer lever and we're going away from our body. Okay, we're gonna relax there. My thumb is gonna stay up. I'm gonna turn this way. My palms are facing each other. And we're gonna go into what is called a hammer curl. This is four, five, shoulders are down and back. Six, good job, seven, eight. Now palm up. My shoulders are still down and back. My elbows are pinned to my side. And now we're gonna do a front curl. Our palm is now up. Working different muscle fibers, muscle spindles, of that bicep. Good job. Nice and smooth. Two more. One more. Okay, we're gonna get our shoulder again with an upright row. So now my palms are facing me and we're gonna lead the elbow. I'm gonna turn this way up and out. I am leaning forward just a smidge. My knees are soft. They're bent. I have one leg kicked back. Four, five, six. Good job. Seven, again, light weight here, and eight. From here, we have an Arnold shoulder press. So what does that mean? Palms are facing me, okay? I also call it the peekaboo. You're gonna rotate, palms are facing forward, bring it up and in, bring it down, close it up. So you have some internal, external rotation here. Shoulder press, bring it down. That's two, keep going. Good job. This is four, woo -wee. Just warming it up here. Five, take your time. Smooth and controlled. We have two more. Internal, external, shoulder press. One more. And relax. Okay, from here, we're gonna wake up the triceps. There's a few different ways we're gonna do this. First way, split stance. Back flat, drive the elbows together, and you're gonna kick back. Two, three, the elbows stay high, pushing that lower arm back. Two more, 
One more. Now, if you can, we're going to challenge ourselves a little bit more. We're going to be in that stance. Now, I'm really leaning my forearm, my left forearm on my left thigh. Drive that right elbow nice and high, and then keep it here. Kick it back. Two. So this is a variation for today. I want you to try both. See what works for you. Keep that elbow high. Keep it close to your body. But we're not rotating at the torso. One more. And we're going to switch. So now I'm going to have my right leg forward, left leg back, leaning on that right leg with my right forearm. Drive the elbow straight back. My shoulders are squared. Kick it back. One, two, good job. Keep the elbow high. Five, you got it. Control that momentum. And relax. Okay, the arm should be nice and warmed up. So everything we did was in an open chain, meaning we were not on the floor. The first exercise today that we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a push-up. It's a closed chain. Our hands are on the floor. Let me show it to you first. The instep of our hand is in line with our shoulder. So a full push-up is here. We're going down and up. Modification, you can drop one knee down and up. Other modification, both knees. Or maybe you're elevating your hands on your sofa or chair or bench at home, or maybe you're on the wall here, coming down and up. We're gonna be there for about 30 seconds with the push-up, then we're gonna turn over and we're gonna do tricep dips, okay? So find the position that works for you. We're gonna get started in three, two, uno. Here we go, push-up nice and smooth and controlled. Yes, we have a timer going, but you find the pace that works for you. Don't hold your breath. Exhale. Abs are engaged. You got this. You are strong, you're learning, and you're getting better every day. Good job. And relax, turn over. We're gonna go into our dips. Arms strong. Elbows back, bending at the elbow. Nice and smooth, nice and controlled. So this is called a closed pack position or a closed plane, if you will. Closed chain versus the open chain. So we're on the earth. There's that action, reaction, pushing through the earth. Nice and smooth Woo and controlled, okay. Sideways on hand here, hand is underneath our shoulder. You can have your legs in a scissor like position or bent. We're coming up and lowering it down. Again, close pack, engaging the shoulder and lower down. You can challenge yourself and come here, come up, hold one, two, three, slowly lower down. Again, up, two. So now we're, we're moving in more of side. Ways, if you will, lateral, frontal plane, some adduction, abduction switch of the shoulder. Again, you can be, your wrist is under your shoulder. Come up, lower down, and up, lower down. And if you wanna challenge yourself, scissor it out, open up, slowly bring it down. Keep that wrist under the shoulder, up, and lower down. Good job. After this, we're gonna get our triceps. Again, in an open chain, use the weight and relax. Okay, so again, you have those two positions. I'm gonna grab my five pounds here. I'm gonna have it in my right hand, left leg in front. I'm gonna bend forward, drive that elbow back, kick it back. Keep the elbow close to your body. Modification, you can come up a little bit higher and come here, okay? But I want to really dig deep. Go against gravity. Get that elbow nice and high. Nice and smooth and controlled. Woo -wee. Feel it behind the arm. Nice, toned, strong arms. Switch. Bending forward. Drive that elbow back. Kick it back. Keep that elbow nice and high. I'm using my right thigh for some leverage. Maybe that's not comfortable for you. Maybe you have your hand on your sofa 
or on your chair, that's totally fine. Maybe you don't have the elbow as high and you're doing that modification, that's fine as well. Good job. After this, we have a bridge chest press. I'm gonna set that weight down. I'm gonna grab a heavier weight. So we're gonna be on our back, hips and butt up. Ooh, and we're chest pressing, bring it in, lower down, up, lower down. If this is too much, you can drop the hips and go into a flat chest press. It's up to you. Or you can play with it and do a little bit of both. Good job. So working the chest, working the anterior shoulder. The entire arm is working, right? We're holding the weight, we're controlling our movement. Again, another modification is you could bring it down and up together, down and up together. So you have a few variations. I'm gonna keep my hips up, glutes slightly engaged, more of a decline chest press here. Smooth, slow on the way down, quick on the way up, but control, don't let the weight slam. You got it. We have flies coming up. It's a longer lever, so I'm gonna go lighter because my arms are gonna be straight, okay? So from here, my arms are right over my chest, elbows slightly bent, fly away, squeeze from the shoulder girdle from the chest, bring it in, the arm follows. Inhale open and exhale up. Keep going, I've actually gotten stronger. I'm gonna go heavier, sometimes that happens. That's a good thing, inhale, exhale. Good. Slow, slow, slow. It's a longer lever, meaning it's more challenging, especially to control it. Keep the elbow slightly bent. You want the force and the tension in the muscles, not in the joint. Good job. After this, we're gonna be on all fours. We're gonna get our rear shoulder, some back, with Y's and T's. Inhale, exhale. Smooth and controlled. This is round one of our upper body strength. You're doing great. Looking at the time. Good job. Keeping it right in front of my sternum, my chest. And relax, slowly come up. I'm gonna grab a lighter weight because it is a longer lever. On all fours, hands and knees about shoulder width apart. Right arm Y and then a half T. Half of a Y half of a T. The movement comes from the shoulder. The arm follows. If you feel like you're struggling, go lighter, okay? The strength, the speed will come. Focus on your form. Going against gravity. One more and then we're gonna switch. Switch arms, reposition, half Y, half T. Half Y, half T. You got it. Good job. You're doing awesome. Keep going. From here, we're gonna stand. We're gonna do it simultaneously now. So my knees are soft, back flat, Y, T, good job, Y's, knees soft, knees bent, back flat. Now if that's too much, single, single, alternating right here. So if doing it simultaneously is not working out for you, that's okay. Another variation is maybe to do a few Y's first. Focus on that movement pattern and then do a few rear delts or T's. Whatever works for you. I'm just showing you some options. Good job. It's your body. You make this workout work for you. Y's and T's right here. Both arms in a standing position. We're going against gravity. We're gonna get our shoulders next. Good job. Make it even, Steven. We have an upright row and relax. I am gonna switch and go heavier with my eights. I'm gonna be here, kicking that foot back, leaning forward, 
Drive up with the elbows up and out. My palms are facing me, facing my stomach. My wrists are neutral. I'm gonna switch my position here. Shoulders down and back. Smooth and controlled. You're doing great. I'm gonna turn and face you. From here, check it out. We're gonna go front raise and side raise at the same time. You got it. Kick that foot back, that feels better. Kind of shift the weight forward. We're not thrusting. Come on, shoulders stay down and back. Lift from the shoulders, switch. Shoulders down and back. 90, 90. We're not passing 90 with this exercise. We're gonna get our biceps next with a hammer curl and a front curl. You got it. And relax. Good job. Shoulders down and back, thumb up. Here we go, elbows pinned to your side. I'll turn this way. Squeeze that bicep on the way up. Slow on the way down. Quick on the way up. Slow on the way down. You got this. Slow, good job guys. Slow, slow, slow. Hammer curl here. Palms are facing each other. Shoulders are down and back. Perfect form as best we can. I'm gonna turn, but you stay where you are. You got it now. I'm gonna switch my feet a little bit. Palm up. Don't cock the wrist. Wrist straight. Curl, front curl, slow. Woo-wee, up quick. Full range here. Slow, as straight as you can without locking at the elbow. Up quick, slow, slow, slow. The slower, the better. That's that eccentric, that negative. The muscle is lengthening, but it's stabilizing at the weight. This is round one. We got one more exercise. Working our upper body today. Set the weights down. I am gonna go a little bit lighter. We have the Arnold shoulder press, okay? I'm gonna grab the weight. You can also call it the peekaboo movement. Palms are facing you, external rotation. Shoulder press, bring it up and in. Bring it down, goal post, internal rotation. Good job. Don't rush it. So each exercise today, we did anywhere between 30 to 60 seconds, but it's not about speed. It's to show yourself that you can get a good workout in a short amount of time. You can build your strength, build your endurance, your stamina, build your knowledge, get acquainted with your body, so right now, today's focus is the arms, the chest, the shoulders, biceps, triceps. Good job getting some forearm work by just holding the weight, right? We worked in the frontal plane, sagittal plane, a little bit of rotation here, transverse plane, getting different muscle spindles and muscle fibers. Woo-wee, good job. That concludes our round one. If that is where you are stopping today, that is quite all right. Stretch out the arms, stay hydrated, and I will see you tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button if you like the workout. Comment below. Tell me what you learned today, what you enjoyed. If you're hanging out with me, get some water. We got round two. We're gonna start in that closed chain position with the push-ups. I'm gonna clear out some space here. Always make sure you know where your weights are for your safety purposes, right? All right, I'm gonna restart my timer. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, and we're gonna start in tres, dos, uno, blast off. Here we go. Oh, my timer didn't start. Here we go. Push up, inhale down, exhale up. Maybe you're starting here, and then you need to drop a knee. And then maybe you go back up. That's totally fine. Maybe you drop the other knee, and you go back up. Exhale, inhale lower. Exhale, you are strong, you are capable, you are valuable. Maybe you need to drop both, that's okay. One more, turn over, tricep dips. Here we go. Lift the hips up, elbows bend and straighten. Just the arms. Good job. All right, 
We got our side plank variation coming up. For the shoulder girdle, little lat, entire arm. I'm gonna turn over, wrist under my shoulder, my hips are stacked. I'm coming up, hold, lower down. Don't plop down, control, hold. Hold that shoulder girdle, keep it out of your ear. Lower it down. So we're moving more now in a side or frontal plane, working different muscles. To challenge yourself, lengthen the legs out, scissor up, hold, one, two, three, lower down. Up, two, three, smile through it. Up, two, three, lower down. Switch sides, switch sides. Wrist stays under shoulder. Up, lower down. Up, lower down. Don't rush it up, hold, lower down. Okay, so the position if you wanna challenge yourself. Up, slowly bring it down. And up, this is great for the shoulder girdle, for stability, get those smaller, deeper muscles. Engage before we go into an open chain. All right, we have tricep extension. Again, you can be here and extend both arms simultaneously. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. I'm gonna bend forward more, drive that elbow up, kick it back. Good job. Nice and smooth, nice and controlled. Going against gravity. Keep that elbow close to your body, fluid motion. Control, you are focused, you're doing great. -wee. We sweat, we smile, we learn, switch it up. I'm getting a little bit of a sweat today. Drive that elbow back, Whoop, get your balance, and kick it back. <sighs> Breathe. So I have my right arm rested on my right thigh. Maybe you're using a chair or a countertop. Try to get that elbow nice and high. Don't rotate the, the torso. Don't twist. It's doing great. We're gonna be on the floor. We got the bridge chest press. I'm gonna go heavier. I'm gonna get my hips up. Hip thrust position, chest press up and lower. Up, we're gonna change it up a little bit. We're gonna go single, single, Double, here we go. Single abs tight, single, try not to rotate at the hips and torso. Single, single, you got it. Working the entire arm, focusing on that anterior shoulder and chest, and up. Good job, come on. If you need to drop your hips at any time and set it down, that's totally fine. You got it, come on. Good job. Think about you picking up your grandbabies or maybe your children or the groceries or maybe you're doing some decluttering and you're moving things around. You need strong arms to do so, right? Good job, come on. After this, we have the fly. I'm gonna rest down. Okay, I am gonna go lighter, I think. If you ever need to switch and adjust, that's totally fine. Okay, weights together, start at the sternum, straight up. Right in front of you, inhale. Elbow slightly bent, exhale. Slow, controlled. From the shoulder girdle and the chest, squeeze it up, the arms follow. Inhale, squeeze at the chest and shoulder. Good job, inhale. You guys are doing great. We have Y's and T's after this on all fours, one arm at a time, and then standing. You got it. Good job. Nice and controlled. Just the arms today. Working on strengthening, challenging our muscles, toning. You guys are doing great. We're almost done with the flies. Hang in there. You got it. Relax that head, there should be no tension in the neck. And stand up. Actually, don't stand up, rock up, sorry about that, on your hands and knees. I'm gonna grab one weight, I'm gonna go a little bit lighter. 
Okay, right arm. I'm actually I'm gonna start with my left arm. We got Y's. And then T. Y. Lift from the shoulder. Smooth. Controlled. So my hand that has the weight is working what we call an open chain, right? I'm using the weight. My hand that's on the floor that's supporting me is a closed chain. I'm pushing through the ground. Have that action reaction so it's working as well, just differently. Here we go. Up and out. It's good and encourage to challenge your body in both open and closed chain, right? Because that's how we live. We walk, we go up and down steps, we run. That's a closed chain, that's functional. We're on the earth, or maybe we're on the floor with our grandkids or our kids, or maybe our fur babies, whatever, we're at work. But we also lift things. Okay, we're gonna stand up. There are moments in time where we're in that open chain position, so we wanna do both, okay. Then four, you can be in a split stance or parallel, whatever works for you. We got Y's simultaneously. T, back flat, no rounding the back, shoulders down and back. Let's do two Y's. Good job, two T's. Let's do three T's, here we go. One, we're just mixing it up. Two, three, three Y's. Up, two, three, alternate, left Y, right Y, left T, right T. So you have different things you can do, back into the Y simultaneously. Here we go, four, two, three, shoulders down and back, four, stay here, stay here, back flat, four T's, one, control, shoulders down and back, three, four, good job, alternate, Y, T, and you are done. Good job. Change your weights if you need to. We have an upright row. Upright row, shoulders down and back. Knees soft. Lead with the elbow, up and out. Your palms are facing you. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad we're doing this together. I hope that I'm giving you some good modifications. Again, you can alternate. If that is easier, you can go lighter or maybe you're still learning the movement, set the weights down or grab bottles of water, whatever works for you. All right, couple more. Here we go, front raise and side raise, shoulders down and back, palms are down, up to 90, slow. Up, you got it, good job. You're doing so good. Couple more, switch, shoulders down and back, Opposite direction now. Woo-wee! We're gonna get our biceps with the hammer curl. You guys are doing so good. And relax, okay. Shake out the shoulders. My palms are gonna face each other, shoulders down and back. Leaning forward just slightly. Hammer curl right here. Thumb is up, wrist is straight or in a neutral position. Keep going, come on. You're doing awesome. So our biceps obviously do flexion at the elbow. It also does what we call supination. Like when you turn a doorknob or you're opening a jar, just to kind of give you some visuals. Good job. Now we're gonna slowly turn it, externally rotate, shoulders stay down and back. Straighten that wrist, curl, slow. Here we go, you got it, come on. Palm up, curl. Doing great, squeeze that bicep, lower. Okay, we're gonna change it up this time. We didn't do this in round one, halfway. Bring it up, woo, halfway down. Up, come on. Working the biceps in different positions, challenging different muscle spindles and fibers, but don't compromise your form. All right, last one. Arnold, shoulder press. I'm gonna go lighter. We got some internal, external rotation again. Peekaboo, externally rotate. Shoulder press up, bring it down. Internal rotation, here we go. You got it. Find the speed that works for you. 90, 90, so 90 degrees, bring it in. 
90 in front, 90 out. Come on. For right now. Good job. You're doing awesome. I'm gonna switch my position. We got less than 30 seconds. Internal, external, press, lengthen. Don't hold your breath. Good job. I hope your arms are talking to you. We got our chest today, front of the shoulder, rear, rear of the shoulder, back, biceps, triceps, and relax. Great job. Give yourselves a hand. Don't skip the cool down. Take that right arm. Go ahead and cross it over. Gently stretch that posterior shoulder, that rear part of the shoulder. Oh, hard part is over. Hard part is just getting up and carving some time for yourself. We try to make this where it's doable, especially if you're busy with work or family or kids or business or ministry or you're traveling, whatever the reason is. Still gotta carve out time for your health. Okay, give yourself a pat on the back. Gently pull that elbow back just a little bit. Good job. Slow deep breaths. Switch arms. <sighs> Pretend like you're gonna hold a tray. Palm open. Inhale. Exhale, push away. Fingertips down. Slowly side bend the head away and bring it here. And exhale. Good job. One more. Exhale. A little bit of a median nerve glide. Switch. Left arm. Inhale. Exhale. Lengthen. Good job. Once you start to feel that tension back off. Okay, we're not holding it. One more. Good. Right arm is going to come up. Gently pull on that wrist. Open up the ribs, the intercostals, and bring it down. Good job. Inhale. And exhale. Open up the intercostals, the left, and bring it down. Good. Left arm, deep breath. Exhale. You guys did so good. I would love to hear what you liked, what you learned. Please comment. That helps our algorithm. Hit that thumbs up button. If you like the workout, share with a friend, family member, neighbor. Let's keep this motivation going. Oh, good job. Both arms are going to come up. Flat back, come down. Round the back, roll it up. Oh yeah, inhale up. Flat back. Roll it up. One more, guys. Deep breath. Doing awesome. Doing great. Oh, around the back. Let it go. Hang loose for just a second. Shake out the arm. Shake out the head. Deep breath. Look at your stomach. Roll it up. One vertebrae at a time. You did awesome. Give yourself a hand. Stay hydrated. Stay motivated and blessed. Thank you so much. I love you. Ciao for now. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.